Hi church, re-entry is almost here. This Sunday, October 25th, we will be resuming live in-person worship services in our building. We're gonna have three worship options for you every Sunday. At 8.15, we're gonna have an acapella service in our auditorium. At 9.30, we'll have what we're calling a word and table service, which is just a service without singing. It will have the sermon, prayers, communion. We just won't have any singing. That will be in the fellowship hall at 9.30. And then at 1045, we'll have our instrumental service inside the auditorium again. When you get here, we have a, a lot of protocols we, wanna, we want you to follow. And so uh, we wanted to make this video so that you would know exactly what to expect of us and also what we will expect of you. So on Sunday morning, if you're coming for the acapella service at 815 or if you're coming for the instrumental service at 1045 and you do not have children participating in children's worship, you will park in our front parking lot. You'll pull in our normal entrance, you will park in the front parking lot because the only doors that will be open for entrance will be our front doors. We will not have any other doors open. We're gonna have our front doors open. So you'll park in the front parking lot, you'll make your way to the front doors, remembering your mask, because masks will be required throughout the entire service. Uh, the only time we really want you to take the mask off is for communion, but when we're singing, everything else, you're gonna need a mask. If you do not have a mask, we will have masks inside um, for you to have. So, you'll make your way, the doors will be open. We're gonna have two doors that will be open on this side, and then there'll be two doors open on the other side of the breezeway over here, and then the four doors inside through the breezeway will be open as well. So you'll make your way here, We'll enter through the contactless entry. There'll be some uh, two greeters inside. It'll be Fred Folks and Carl Jemison. They'll be inside. We will not have any valet parking because of sanitary reasons, trying to avoid people getting in and out of different cars. Um, but you'll enter right here. And once you get in here, uh, you'll be given some more instructions on what you're supposed to do then. Once you enter the doors or in the lobby, you're going to notice a few things that are different. There's not going to be any places to sit. We've moved all the chairs. We're not going to have any coffee or donuts for the time being. And we're also not gonna have any paper handouts. We also wanna ask that you avoid stopping and socializing in the lobby for now, either before or after church, which we would normally encourage. Uh, but for now, we don't want to do that. Uh, you will notice that there is communion available in the lobby as you go toward the auditorium. And so you can come to one of these tables that'll be on either side of the lobby and pick up one of your communion packets and gluten-free communion will be available right over there on that wooden table. And you can grab your communion, and take it in. There's going to be several hand sanitizer stations here in the lobby. And even though the drinking fountains throughout the building are turned off, restrooms will still be available. And like we said, last thing I wanna mention is that we do ask that you wear a mask um, when you come into the auditorium and throughout church. And so if you forgot your mask, uh, we'll have one available for you here in the lobby. One of our greeters will give you one. Okay, so you've gotten your communion in the foyer and now you've made it into the auditorium. So where to sit? Well, you'll notice here in the middle section that we've roped off every other pew. So if you're someone that feels comfortable with a little more distance, on the two side areas of our auditorium, we've roped off every two pews to give you a little more distance between you and your neighbor. We do wanna encourage you no matter where you sit in the auditorium, if there's already a family on that pew, keep your distance and sit on the other side. We also wanna remind you to keep your mask on even during singing. The only exception to pulling down your mask is during communion. We'd like to ask you as soon as service is over to quickly exit the auditorium through the doors and take your communion trash. Why are we asking you to exit quickly? Well, we will be fogging and cleaning the auditorium between each service. Finally, we encourage you to continue to online give, but if you have a cash or check, we will have offering and tithe boxes in the front and the back of the auditorium. Although we don't have a staffed option for children under three right now, parents, you are more than welcome to bring your children to the Wiggle Room. The Wiggle Room is a place where you can stay and watch your child play, and then you can also watch the live stream service inside. Bring your own toys. Mamas, if you want a quiet place to rock and feed your baby, we do have an infant room located in the back of the auditorium. It's a place that has comfy chairs, a changing table, and the ability for you to watch and listen to the service. 
All right, so earlier in the video, we were in the front parking lot in the front of our building, and I mentioned that if you're going to attend our acapella service at 815 or our instrumental service at 1045 and you do not have children for Children's Church, you will need to stay in the front lot. You'll need to park there. But if you're coming to our Word and Table service, which is in the Fellowship Hall at 930, or if you are attending the, the instrumental service at 1045 but you have children that will be in Children's Church, we're asking you to park in the back parking lot. And so you will park somewhere back here in this back parking lot, and then you will make your way over here to these glass doors that will take you into the fellowship hall. Once you enter into these doors, uh, if you're here for Children's Church, you'll be met by our children's ministers right in the breezeway, and they will take your children right there and register, and you will make your way upstairs. But if you're here for Word and Table, you'll go straight through into the fellowship hall. Hello, we are so excited about re-entering our church building and we're going to have three different services as you probably have already heard. And the one in the fellowship hall will start at 9.30 and we're calling it Word and Table because we're not going to have any singing. The first thing you'll notice when you come in is there's a table set up with communion packets. We're asking everyone to just come in and the first thing you do is grab your own packet and take it to where you're going to sit down. Where you're going to sit down is up to you because you have to bring your own chair. We're encouraging people to bring their own chairs because right after this service, the children are going to come and have an event, have a uh, children's worship in this fellowship hall. We can't set up chairs and, and disinfect them and get them out of the way fast enough when the children need to come in. So bring your own chair and then you can find your own space. And it's easy to social distance in this fellowship hall because every square on the floor is one foot by one foot. So you can just count yourself six tiles away from the person next to you and your social distancing. We want to encourage you to do that. We also want you to encourage you to wear a mask during the service. And it will be a time of uh, sermon. And there'll be a time of communion, of course. We'll have times of prayer and scripture reading. And we just want to encourage those who feel more comfortable in this setting to come and join us here. So God bless all of you as we excitedly approach the 25th of October. Hi parents, you've come for instrumental service and you've come in the back foyer and checked your kids that are three years old through fifth grade in. And then you've gone back up the stairs and follow the dots around to the front foyer. Your kids will come in here. We will have towels that are spaced, socially distanced to keep them in their um, place. And we will have these doors propped open as long as the weather permits to keep lots of fresh air flowing. After service, just follow the dots back around and come down the stairs and we will dismiss your kids from the back foyer.